All right, Norman. I'm not. Male maintenance person entering female lavatory area. I can't cope with them stairs. They're good for your stairs. They were on news last night. There was this woman, and she was 104, and she could still get into a pair of Levi's. Oh. Took two people to button them up for her, but even so. <laughs> no, this is like a phobia. I get panicky. What, on stairs? I fell off a diving board in Guernsey, you know. I can't stand on coconut matting either. You can get help for that, can't you? Oh, I haven't got time. I'm building an extension. Are you all right, Stan? Did you have a nice weekend? I did, Bren. I got my carpet tax organised, finally. Did you? I bet you'd imagine they were standardised, hadn't you, carpet tax? Yeah. They're not. I had to laugh in the end. They're variations in length. Can you put butter on for me, Stan? <laughs> now, the trays and the docket, they don't exactly tally. Why? What have I not got? You've got your white sliced, you've got your brown, you've got your rolls, you've got your French sticks and you've got your pitters. Yeah. But you haven't got your granary torpedoes. <laughs> Why have I not got my granary torpedoes? We well, didn't all get put on van. I weren't there. This was Glenda. Oh, just sign it, Bren. I've got an itchy bum. <laughs> Norman, I can't sign saying I've had granary torpedoes if I haven't had granary torpedoes. That'd be like a bridge over the River Kwai, that, wouldn't it? Eh? Hey? Well, it'd be like Kim Novak in Vertigo. You know, living a lie. <laughs> Have you never seen Vertigo? Seen it? I've got it. <laughs> Alec Guinness, very erect. In Bridge over the River Kwai? And what's that one with Stanley Holloway? Lavender Hill Mop. Oh, and he runs down all the steps of the Eiffel Tower. Oh, I couldn't watch that. Running down steps, oh, it would put me back years, that would. <laughs> I'd have a ventilate. Could you not watch it with the paper bag? <laughs> Morning. Anyone for a gangbang? We haven't got any granary torpedoes. I've given you loaves in loo. Have you? Go on, then, your sauce box. This were Glenda. I were on toilet. Blooming cold, Brent. <coughs> hey, and when's Glenda coming back on the round? Are you all right, Brent? Did you get any? What? At the weekend, did you get any? Any sex? No, I had to go to laundrette. <laughs> did you, Tony? <laughs> Hollow flipping laughter. Do you want a brew stamp? Defo. Oh, you've got your overall on. Is it so much to ask Bren for you to walk around in your bra for five minutes? <laughs> yes, it is. Do you think Big Glenda would give us a flash? Not after you said she looked like desperate Dan. <laughs> <laughs> He's starting to look very attractive to me, is Dan? What do you want? Girl in a wet T-shirt. <laughs> Coffee. It's been a bit slow, this. Hey! Shouldn't be. I've had the plug off. Hi, Anita, are you? Anita, do you fancy a bunk up just to get me brain going? <laughs> Is a bunk up a hammock? It's Monday. <laughs> do you have a nice weekend? Coming to temp now. Pause me bins. Mm, I went to a craft fair. I got one of those coat hangers with the goggly eyes. Did you? Hello, coat hanger, goggly eyes. Well, it's a coat hanger and it's got goggly eyes on it. <laughs> what are we doing about our torpedoes? Let's start with nothing. Morning. Morning. Hi, Dolly. Morning, Jean. What's wrong with Delilah? I have no objection to the song. It was just Tom Jones squatting on the front of the TV Times in those swimming trunks. <laughs> Bren? No idea. Are we a quorum? Any chance of getting any blooming work done? Twinkle's not here. Well, it's only Monday. It's still the weekend for her. She'll be sat in a cab somewhere throwing up. Corn on the cob? We're not still on Tom Jones's swimming trunks. <laughs> the wedding. Sit down, a running buffet. How do you cope, Jean? I don't. This has been twitching since September. Dolly, what day is it for you? Full fat, semi skims? Full fat, I'll treat myself. Oi, Twinkle. What? You don't come to work in your overall, do you? All right, keep your scrotum on. <laughs> OK, finally. Twink, you're on sink. Thanks a bad roll. Dolly on sarnies. There's no torpedoes, so don't come knocking on my door saying, where's the torpedoes, cos there aren't any. Bren on counter and... Oh, sort yourselves out. Bren, I'm having a fag. If he phones about the salad cream, tell him... Tell him you're having a fag? Yeah. Shut the door! Hey, did you see that film on Sunday? On Sky? No, on real telly. Dirk Bogart. Oh, because on Sky there was this film about this woman whose husband died in this avalanche. And two years later she finds his sperm in the freezer and gets pregnant with a turkey baster. <laughs> Sounds 
sounds good. <laughs> Based on a true story. Durgo. So she's been distraught for years because they hadn't had any children. She should have cleaned her freezer out a bit more of them. <laughs> so why did she not use her husband's sperm to get pregnant? She did. Well, you said she got pregnant with a turkey baster. <laughs> it's a little rubber. Oh, I thought it were a job, turkey baster. <laughs> Lesbians have them now, don't they? Do they? Oh, yeah, we're in paper. Did you not read it? They get the sperm off the internet. <laughs> Bung it into turkey baster, like Dolly says, nine months later, Bob's your uncle. Van is your... Thank you! <laughs> and are they vegetarians, lesbians? Hey? I wondered if it went together like traffic wardens liking Neil Sadaka. <laughs> Oh, I love him. We've got him at home on a jigsaw. <laughs> Have you never seen his films? No, we haven't even finished his raincoat yet. <laughs> it's given me four bloomers here, that Norman. Doctor in the house, that's what a dirt bogart was in, twink. So, Dolly, this sperm, was she just clearing out the freezer and there it was under the Arctic roll? <laughs> More or less, yes. Does Dirt Bogart come down some stairs and ask to be called Charlie going, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> No, that's Jim Dale. <laughs> <laughs> that's Carry On Nurse. Doctor in the house has got in with posh voice, Donald Sindon, that did that thing with that Welsh one from It Ain't Off Hot Mum. What do you mean, Hot Mum? Where they're all sweaty. Yeah. <laughs> Who's all sweaty? The soldiers in the jungle. They have little vests on. Little sweaty vests. Steady on, Brent. Can we have a calm, civilised atmosphere, please? Can we not pollute a food preparation area with talk of little sweaty vests? Tony, not only has Norman not given us our torpedoes, he's left us all these crusty bloomers. <laughs> Look, if we're not allowing sweaty vests into the conversation, <laughs> we're certainly not dwelling on Norman's crusty bloomers. I'm trying to describe who Dirk Bogart is. Have you never seen Death in Venice? Is that the dwarf in the duffel court? <laughs> no, that's look back in anger. <laughs> Come on, girls, shift it. Would this be a good moment to talk about Scottish country dancing? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. <laughs> Who the heck was that? Hello. Twink, is that toaster hot? It's only one. Oh, flip, not again. Where's Stan? Anita? Are you nearly open? In a minute. Get it off. Anita, is Stan outside? Outside? Yeah, you know, not inside. <laughs> Stan, who works here? Twink, is he doing his things? Chuck a box at him. Hello. The toaster's on, Blink. Okay. Just tell him to come up. What a piece, though, because it is warm. Warm toast? It's like blooming... Warm salad. Oh, you can have warm salad. It's quite a she-she starter. Think of that for the wedding, Jean. With Keith's family. Last bid wedding, his auntie Dot ate a coaster. No. <laughs> his auntie Dot from Cockermouth ate a raffia drinks coaster. <laughs> thought he was a high five the biscuit. <laughs> She had to be held back from moving down the table and buttering two more. Stand back. Emergency toaster maintenance coming through. Keep well clear, please. Can I order me toast now? I've got to fax Tokyo. Hang on. Ha, got it. That's it. Coming to tempt now. Get those shutters up. Let's feed the faces of folk. Can I have 12 rounds of white, please? You can, actually, yeah. It's been a bit touchy and uh, thingy bob, but yeah, 12 rounds of white. Let's do it. <laughs> Soup. <laughs> no, it has to be cold the first course. Smoked mackerel patty. What about the vegetarians? Melon. Melon balls, daintier. Who's vegetarian on Keith's side? His auntie Margot. She won't eat anything with her face. <laughs> She could have the melon balls. What? She won't eat anything with her face, but she'll eat some with balls. <laughs> Mum? No! Why? Jodie can't wear a sash. <laughs> have you seen these sex tuplets in the paper? 
She actually chose to have six babies. It's technology gone mad. Yeah, but it's handy though, isn't it? Like if you wanted to have the Nolan sisters in a hurry. <laughs> Cos that poor woman, Mrs Nolan, I suppose, she must have been giving birth for years before she got any decent harmonies up and running. <laughs> The Nolan sisters, they were a nice mixture. Yeah, they were, weren't they? Because some of them were really good looking and uh, some of them were a bit potato faced, you know? <laughs> well, how many babies have I got? I haven't got any! Oh, Anita! Did he come with those carrots? No. <sighs> that veg man. I bet he's having sex somewhere. Man. Of course he is. You only have to look at him. Don't want to look at him. You don't need to look at him. You can smell his overall five minutes before he comes in. <laughs> we should get him a deodorant. He's got a flat head. We could stick an air freshener on it. <laughs> Can't we? Stick it on his head. Come here. What? Whack. <laughs> Blimey, O'Reilly. What are them, Jean? That's a plunge. That's a super plunge. And that's an anyway halter. And what's that? That. That's a padded balcony. And is this for anything? The wedding? No, baffled, lost in the land of no speaky lady talk. I have to organise my daughter's wedding. I knew that. And obviously go to it. But, oh, yes. In an outfit. And again, yes. So I have to have a new bra. No, four faults for a refusal. <laughs> he's turning round, he's having another go. <laughs> Why, Jean? Who's going to see it? But nobody's going to see it. Oh, take me on, Bren. Show me how a woman's mind works. And what is that? That's the double D strapless push-up. No, I'm going to have to go and sit down and order some brown sauce. <laughs> Wanna get a thong, Jean? Where does the back bit go? That's up your bum, isn't it? Oh, honestly. Toast those buns in our versatile floral thong. Buns as in tea cakes? No. Like that exercise video, Buns of Steel. Mm, I'm doing the sequel to that, Buns of Lard. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Oh, gosh, that reminds me, I must get some new knickers. Hello. Not that you need to know about my underwear situation. No. <laughs> I'm Philippa Moorcroft. Flipper. He's a whale, isn't he? Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. No, not like the whale. Philippa, is he not a dolphin, Flipper? Skippy was the bush kangaroo. <laughs> Free Willy was a whale. Did you ever see that? Tell you what was brilliant. In the cinema, they showed you the whole story in the trailer. You didn't have to bother going. <laughs> Sorry. No. Yes. I'm a... Uh, gosh. I never know whether to say what it used to be or what it is now. It's... It was personnel, and now it's human resources. And here I am. This is what I look like. <laughs> anyway, I'm not just here for problems, though obviously feel free, but I really want to bring a new slant to the whole work thing. I mean, why not Scottish country dancing? <laughs> Beautifully clean floor, Stan. Lovely. I see what I'm missing as I sit in my office with my salad sarnie. When was this? I was just talking generally, but on Friday I think it was a salad sandwich. Plain salad? Yes. We do ham salad, cheese salad, egg salad. We don't do plain salad. No, I brought it from home. I made it myself. You'd made it yourself? <laughs> all right, Stan. Oh, crumbs, was that wrong? No, that wasn't wrong. It's worse than wrong. Yeah, all right, Stan. It's just that we normally do make all the sandwiches. You're coming. Uh, yeah, hang on, Stan. I mean... <laughs> Sometimes people do bring their own, you know, if they've got a gluten-type thingy-bob. <laughs> or cystitis. <laughs> when that went round the top floor, they are all coming in with cranberries, do you know what I mean? Oi! <laughs> this is the cookhouse. This is the heart of the factory. My dad was a desert rat. His life was saved by a mess tin. He had it over his face, licking a bit of mince. <laughs> Sniper's bullet could have had his jaw off. He's had a marvellous life. He's been married twice, taught himself the ukulele. <laughs> and you bring your sandwiches to work. <laughs> Unbelievable. He don't mean it. It's since they put Pam Ayres on the radio instead of Charlie Chester. <laughs> I wanted trailing greenery for the reception, but Keith's anti-ivy. I didn't know Keith had an anti-ivy. <laughs> did I say about the extra tea for the fourth floor? Yeah. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Okay, then. See you later. 
I don't know how long I'm going to be, OK? No, that's fine. I hope it's not too good luck anyway. I'll need it. There's only one woman's realm in that waiting room and I'm having it. <laughs> no, good luck, though. Cheers. We still can't agree about the music. Bren, your mother. Bren, are you on your own? Yeah, I'm just with Jean. <laughs> no, that's fine, darling. I'm just needing to go a bit cautious, love. Have you got any of that disinfectant spray? Oh, oh I'll get it. <laughs> Hello, Jean, love. I just need a little more so my darling and could have a cloth, love. How are you keeping, Jean? Gorgeous shade on your hair, by the way. <laughs> well, it's this wedding. Oh, and don't I empathise. They stress you out big time. Oh, well, that's it. <laughs> I had to organise one on Honolulu Island for one of the West Indian cricketers, and by God, it was a fantastic success. But I lost all the feeling down my left-hand side from the strain. <laughs> Thanks, darling. Bren, next time you're at the supermarket, love, can you pop this into one of the wheelie bins round the back? It mustn't go in a litter bin, love. No one must see it, sweetheart. Why, it's not stolen, is it? No, I've given up that keeper. <laughs> My days of receiving stolen property to do the boxing fraternity a favour are well gone. <laughs> Can't remember what I was going to say. Anyway, the phone, lovey. Just need to get rid. But never mind me. Wedding. I'm just trying to think what to do for the music. Oh, well, I used to know a fantastic keyboards player. <gasps> really talented, lovely looking, like a black Frankie Vaughan. <laughs> the girls flocking, had beautiful slacks, tailored specially. But like a lot of very well-dressed people, he was gay. So, <laughs> anyway, he's in Guernsey now. And, uh, strictly speaking, I can't set foot on the Channel Islands. <laughs> Maybe just someone at the piano. Richard Clayderman. Yeah, that type of thing. I can get him. Do you want him? <laughs> oh, no, no, forget it. He's got a dog. <laughs> he will travel nowhere without this damn dog. Mind you, it's a gorgeous pooch. Shiatsu. He tried to give me one once. I said, Ricky, I love you, sweetheart. But my lifestyle and a dog's lifestyle... Pulls apart. <laughs> so you see, you can't just fly over here, Jean. Because of Sheba. Now I've had him in tears from Shore again. <laughs> saying, I can't get on the plane, Petula. I cannot leave Sheba. I say, Ricky, it's fine. Just go home, have a gluvein, put one of your own records on. I can say that to him. <laughs> oh, we'll sort it out. Jean, I'm helping. Don't forget, I was in Beirut with Mandy Rice Davis. I understand entertainment. <laughs> now, this girl is a fabulous entertainer. No, ignore that. Ignore the drawing. She had these cards done on the motorway. <laughs> she must have pressed the wrong button. But you see, as well as the stripping, she plays the accordion. Oh, I like the accordion. <laughs> So is she just like a normal type of accordionist? She's lovely. Very modest to look at, actually. Peter Pan collars. She knows all the lovely old tunes. Agadoo. <laughs> Coconut Airways. <laughs> Shaft. <laughs> so what shall we do then? Shall we call her? Shall we take this car? No, I better hang on to that. I'll call her for you. Sometimes you get quite rough people answering these phones. Yeah, but you might not remember to do it, Mum. Don't break my heart, Bren. Let me help. I'll be back in Romania tomorrow up at an orphanage ladder with an emotion brush. <laughs> Let me do this for... What's your daughter's name? Jean? Lisa. There you are. The little baby they wouldn't let me adopt. Little Lisa Louise. I said, what sort of future is she going to have here? You've not a bottle in the place. They just stamped adoption refused on the papers. I said, you're stamping those letters on my heart. <laughs> Let me do this for all our babies. Bren, can you let me have a couple of sausages out your deep freeze? <laughs> Dolly, we need one more platter D for the top floor. They're having a think tank. Oh, nobody's brought me those brown rolls yet. Where's Norman? Where's Anita? She's gone for counselling with that Philippa woman. She was upset. She was upset. That call slow was diabolical. Tony, can I use the phone? No. Oh, it's about the bridesmaid's knickers. Oh, go on, then. <laughs> two fives to dial out. Shutter's going up two minutes. 
She was upset about the sex tuplets. She's getting a period. I've heard it all before, Bren. No need to call it a period. <laughs> Has Norman not brought them rolls, Dolly? No, oh, he wouldn't come up the stairs. He had a panic attack coming. He was going to sit in his van as a precaution. A precaution against doing any bloody work. <laughs> Stan, nip down and see if there's any brown rolls down by the bins, will you? Norman's flipped again. Roger Wilco. What did you say about sex tuplets? Anita, I left her a message. Plain white, high waist, low leg. Sex tuplets? Bridesmaids' knickers. <laughs> Just left. Anybody could have had them. Then what? Stealing mopeds, hitting women in their own homes with golf trophies. <laughs> Norman was having a panic attack, Stan. Ten years ago, nobody had heard of panic attacks. And if they had, bloody bread men didn't have them. <laughs> Shoots us coming up! Bread men had varicose veins and fags behind their ears. Uh, what's the soup? On the menu, it just says soup. Tweet, what's the soup? Minestrone. Why don't you put it on the menu? Can't spell it. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, sorry. Mum, I've just left you a message. Well, I'm not there, am I? Well, they won't do. <laughs> Is it no gravy? Who's on gravy? Anita. Anita. You carry on, mate. I'll bring some over, OK? Can you tell me which one Jean is, please? Jean! Hello. You're looking for entertainment for your wedding? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I do. Bride, policewoman, traffic warden, gladiator and Gypsy Rosalie. I can't be touched, I won't sit on laps and I won't mingle. <laughs> but do you play the accordion? No, I only strip. Well, you could see what a liability that would be naked. Could trap a nipple. <laughs> Is that what you wanted in an accordionist? Yeah. Right. I'll phone my granddaddy, he plays. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Who was that, Jean? And can she make gravy? A stripper. Oh, she'll never have needed to, then. <laughs> Tony, I want you. I want you. Where's Anita? She's lying down. It's dinner time. I'm a bod short now. I didn't think she'd be able to concentrate. She doesn't need to concentrate. Someone says a pie, you give them a pie. <laughs> Anyone who could concentrate would go barmy. <laughs> I really think you should be sensitive to a woman's hormonal ebb and flow. Oh. <laughs> I am, believe me. Look, I'm not a dinosaur. I quite like women in a sad, baffled sort of way. <laughs> but can we please get a grip? Out of a workforce of five, at any given moment, one will have premenstrual tension, one's panicking because she's not, someone's having a hot flush, and someone else is having a nervous breakdown because her HRT patch has fallen in the minestrone. <laughs> that was a one-off. <laughs> I mean, as much as I love working in a woman's support group, the cold fact is, this is a bloody canteen. Have you ever thought of Scottish country dancing? <laughs> It's a work-related gathering, can I just ask? It's a melting pot, Stan. We're just going to toss ideas into the pot. It's a toss pot. <laughs> so what I'll do very quickly is just free fall, if I may. These are just fun things I've tried in other places I've worked. Feng Shui. Moving things around. You're not moving that toaster. <laughs> no, that's probably not very appropriate. You'll move me first. Oh, leave it, Stan. Thanks, uh, Maureen. Reflexology. My dad was a desert rat. He shaved in sand. That toaster stays put. <laughs> uh, Scottish country dancing. I think I've mentioned that. <laughs> Exploring female sexuality. I don't think Stan needs to hear about that. <laughs> I didn't think I looked like a Maureen. You can't <laughs> shock me. I was once employed in the biggest brothel in Aslingdon. Doing what? The rewiring. <laughs> like? Well, it was very tricky, actually, because there were so many wall lights. <laughs> they think now that pressure at work can affect your sex life. They did a questionnaire. Are you too busy to have an orgasm? Orgasm? I haven't blown my nose since Wednesday. <laughs> oh, one fun thing we did, dressing to reflect the local ethnic communities. Eh? Well, I, I mean, I don't mind what I wear. I think when you're slim, you can carry off a number of styles. I think we should ask somebody with bigger hips. Jean? <laughs> you wouldn't want to wear a sari for work. What are they 
playing at now? Is this for your benefit, Anita? My benefit? Now, I try and keep an open mind. I was first in the queue with frozen pies, for example. But I can't honestly say I would want to do heavy lifting, checking and maintenance of bisexual ablutions in a sari. Hey, we seem to have gone a little bit astray here. Well, you certainly have if you think some of us are called Maury. <laughs> How about if we all learn to massage each other? It's marvellous. We used to do it in one of our offices. Basically, you sit round in a circle and massage the neck and shoulders of the person in front of you. Yes, but suppose you haven't got somebody in front of you. Everyone will have someone in front of them. How? Because we'll all be in a circle. Oh, I thought you said we'd all be in an office. <laughs> be through your overall. Oh, yes. So we wouldn't be naked. Oh, no. <laughs> because some of our appliances spit fat. Hey, they shouldn't do. <laughs> Give it time, Flip. How much time? I've been to every person in this factory and all I get is blank looks. Oh, I don't know. Oh, we'll have to think about it. I sold my flat to come and be with you, Mikey, and I'm beginning to feel I've been an absolute nitwit. They were queuing up in Banster to make candles. I'll be a bit later. Is that all right? Well, you might have told me you didn't have a washing machine. So, now we know. You all right, Jean? Hey. I'm just having a gloomy do about this wedding. It doesn't feel right somewhere along the line. Hey, it's going to be fantastic. What are you talking about? You've done your flowers, you've got your hat, you tracked down them vegetarian slingbacks for Keith Santi Margot. You've done great. Flipping heck, Jean, you've done fantastic. Thanks, Bren. I appreciate that. No probs. I don't know who thinks to clean this spatula. Give it us back, then. Hello. Is this a good time? I'm Carly's granddad. Is it for dancing? For the wedding? Thought I'd give you a bit of a demo. I just need Stan. There's a car blocking the gates. Stan? Yeah, it's through there. Oh, you've done it! You've actually organised it yourselves! That's fantastic! I can't tell you what this has done for me. I absolutely can't tell you. Oh, oh this is a bit spot on. <laughs> Bren, Bren, I can't stop. I'm blocking the gates. Look, can you tell me, Mum, we got married this morning? She'll take it better from you. We can't face it, big wedding teller. And tell her I'll call her. Do you mind? Bye. Sorry. You tell her. <laughs> oh, I feel 20 years younger now. This is sorted. Thanks for what you said. Are you having a dance? Yeah. 